Thank you, Mr Agnew. Thank you. We just need to remind ourselves that land tenure is not an EU competence. Uh, please be aware of that. I certainly wouldn't want to see uh, the EU interfering in, in land tenure uh, in, the, in, in the UK. Our system isn't perfect, and I must say to the rapporteur, we do have a land register there. Uh, you can quite easily see who owns the land. There's a sentiment here that, that small is beautiful and anything bigger must be detrimental. I would ask her and anyone else in this committee to watch a sugar beet harvesting operation now and to watch one 40 years ago. What you will see now is a large machine on tracks smoothly going across the ground, leaving it like a billiard table with the trailers offloaded on the headlands. Uh, with massive tyres, go back 40 years, single row harvester, trailer running alongside it, ruts, ruts, ruts everywhere. This machinery now is so good, we can grow sugar beet on land, you couldn't grow it on a number of years ago. That's the improvement. And the fewer people are needed on the farms. It is as simple as that. My father needed 13 men on 380 acres in 1948, and that would only need half a man now. You can't simply keep winding back the clock. And what is the rapporteur trying to achieve here? And is she trying to achieve a, a sort of a, a twee land where it, there is a set number of people in a rural area all paid some money by the taxpayer and where land is actually taken off people and redistributed, nationalization of land? Is that what you're after, a social policy? Or are you saying that we need to completely reorganize the ownership of land so the environment improves? And yet... The, Payments are given to look after soil quality and air quality and water quality, and it doesn't matter who owns the land, it's the person who is actually operating the land and claiming these, these benefits that makes sure that these things happen. It, you don't have to alter land tenure to do that. Thank you.